What's up guys, welcome to a new Final Cut Pro tutorial. Today I'm going to show you the best export settings for your YouTube videos. YouTube fucks up your video, it compresses it to death, like you can export your 4K video on a normal export setting that would look fine on the computer, but then you upload it to YouTube and it just looks... You just don't want to watch it anymore. So let's change that by going over the best export settings in Final Cut Pro for your YouTube videos. Let's jump right into Final Cut. Okay, so this is of course just an example project. We just have one minute of black static nothing, but it's just for the sake of this tutorial. So let's just pretend this is your awesome video and now let's export it for YouTube. So of course to export a video, you have to go up here to file, then click on share and then go to your designated export settings. You can save several export settings. If you wanna know how to do that, we're gonna discuss that in next week's video, which you can find right up here once it's uploaded. If you don't have a saved setting, just go to export file and then we can go on from there. As you can see, there is a YouTube option when you go to share, but we're not gonna use that because that one is absolutely garbage. 640 by 360 pixels like, yeah, that's not only compressed, it's also it's also a bad resolution, so let's not do that. Go to file, go to share, then click on export video or export file if you don't have a personal setting. Then go to settings and once we're here, this should have your normal resolution, which is in my case 3840 times 2160 pixels, which is a standard 4K UHD resolution. It could be full HD for yours, depending on your source clip, this is your resolution, not like in the garbage YouTube settings. You can see the file right now is 425 megabytes, which is not a lot. Of course, we just have a black video, but let's pretend it's a normal video. We have to go to video and audio, which is definitely the best setting to export your video. Don't go to Apple devices, don't go to computer, don't go to web hosting, even though we're hosting it in the web. These will all destroy your video. This is just like, for example, if you upload it to Facebook for an ad, or if you put it on your website where it has to be really, really small so that it loads fast, or if you want to send a preview over WhatsApp where you can only send 64 megabytes when you have to make it really, really small. But for YouTube, we actually wanna have it really, really big because YouTube compresses it down, so we're gonna use the best quality to export it and upload it to YouTube. This is really hard drive consuming, and it also takes a longer time to upload it, but this will be worth it because in the end you will have a better, a much, much better YouTube video experience. So go to not publishing, even though we're publishing it on YouTube, we're gonna go to mastering video and audio because of course we want both of that, even though we don't have audio in that clip. Again, it's just an example. Go to video and audio, and then your standard codec will be H.264, which is good if you just wanna play it on your computer. It totally works fine. It's normal codec, but if you put that video onto YouTube, it will crush and compress the hell out of your video because YouTube just compresses it so much. So we're gonna have to upload it in a better compression. So when YouTube compresses it down, we're back on a normal setting. Basically, that's how you could say it. So click on the codec and the one I would recommend is Apple ProRes 422. This is just the best codec if you wanna upload it to YouTube. You could also go all out and go to 4444, which is unnecessary because most cameras probably don't even shoot in that codec. So it's just overkill and a better export setting than your original media which your camera shot with so totally unnecessary you could even go all out and go to uncompressed 10 bit which would push it up to 31 gigabytes as i said this is really hard drive consuming but we don't need uncompressed maybe your raw footage isn't even that good so just go to prores 422 and then you can see we have a 3.59 gigabyte video for a one minute clip of darkness then we can go to next and export it in apple prores 422 which is again in my opinion the best export setting in final cut pro for youtube i really hope you enjoyed this video if you did please be sure to hit that like button and also consider subscribing right here for more videos just like that one you can find more final cut pro tutorials right here this is the playlist and be sure to subscribe because next week i'm going to show you how to save these export settings in final cut pro until next time see ya